Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today we're going to be hopping into the tree of life. Before we get into that, I just want to let y'all know I'm kind of coming down from uh, food poisoning. So if my voice and just my overall energy is a little bit lower than previously just know that that's that's why um but yeah i'm excited to get back to the movie reactions thank y'all for being patient with um you know the, the whole holiday break i wanted to kind of you know fill that void with the other tv shows since they were already edited so um yeah for those who are looking for the movie reactions they are now coming back uh it's good to check these out uh, as always we are focusing on a topic of filmmaking and um you know our topic of filmmaking is cinematography similar to what we have going on in the patreon we try to uh look at a uh a, a genre of filmmaking not genre but more of like a piece of filmmaking and kind of you know analyze it a little bit more see how that piece of filmmaking is able to work itself in to the other pieces of filmmaking in order to create an overall incredible you know <laughs> piece of filmmaking in general but uh, it also can be used as a tool for giving forth a unique texture to your film you know for example being able to um, incorporate cinematography to the point to where it doesn't even matter about the storytelling it's just so uh, to its own league that it carves its own lane you know and the other option is obviously how cinematography aids the storytelling um, so we're gonna be looking at that and I hope that you guys are going into these films with that objective in mind because that's usually where a good percentage of the commentary is going to be based around so if you hear me talk about cinematography a lot that's primarily why we do that all the time on patreon so if you want to be able to check out all of that get more information learn a little bit more you can check out the patreon you get early access full length um you get the patreon polls all that good stuff you guys know the drill if you want to be able to support the channel the best way to do it is through patreon you can also support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the end of the day just sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into the tree of life again guys if you want to be able to watch and hear all that i got to say to these films because we do have bonus commentary. For those of you that are interested, you can check out the Patreon link below. You can seek up your copy of the film with mine and have yourself a good time. Again, my apologies if my energy is a little low. Um, in the intro, I said I was coming down off of some food poisoning. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy? I don't know, I was probably sleeping, if I could be honest. It was they who led me to your door. This is definitely a really dope opening. What on earth? I feel like I'm witnessing the birth of the universe. I'm loving this soundtrack, damn. Follow. The soundtrack is giving me goosebumps. In the right way, though. I can already say that this look reminds me of uh i believe it was a russian film called come and see these boys to have its own way i think there is something very interesting with having this soundtrack playing over otherwise you know a, a family just enjoying enjoying their time together it makes it extremely poetic Honestly, I think the right word for it is feeling as though the camera is giving a outer body experience. Like there's something else beyond of the physical plane here. This this floaty camera feel and the unique editing that's happening just from the first few minutes kind of give me that feeling. You guys see what I mean? Like, the way the camera's moving is is something else, and I'm loving it. This is intense. I shall fear no evil. Wow, I'm loving these frames. I'm absolutely loving these frames. You know, this this cinematography is somehow able to enhance. You know, the, the pain, the emotion. 
despite it being very abstract from regular filmmaking cinematography. You sit next to me at the piano and I criticize the way he turned the pages. Mm. Wow, I'm loving that this, this camera is giving these actors room to express themselves, whether that's them talking or not talking. This is really damn cool. I don't know what I was expecting. I haven't heard a dang thing about this film, but already just how these shots are, the way that it's shot, the way it's telling its story is incredible. I'm having a, such a great time with this, despite the subject matter. <laughs> Honestly, this camera movement is probably really good for you know for those of you who want to create smaller budgeted films because they're working with a lot of natural light as far as i could tell just from moving the camera around it's really cool all the different ways to engage with story The way this is being told it really does lend itself to what I said earlier about this camera being in an astral plane. The way that it's edited, the way that it feels like we're blipping in and out of people's thoughts, people's emotions, people's just environments, people's lives. This is really cool. Shout out to the Patreon. They've been killing it, y'all. <laughs> Wow. Wow. This film is crazy. <laughs> this film is crazy. There's a lot of like French cinema in this as well, too, where they would show things. And, you know, if you don't really have any knowledge about filmmaking or even French filmmaking, it can just seem like just a bunch of shots just stitched together randomly. But everything, everything is meant for interpretation or just simply to allow yourself to digest things despite its randomness um i can feel the level of intention that goes behind every shot oh my goodness i'm getting chills just <laughs> just hearing it with the soundtrack oh my goodness man Oh my god i'm getting chills oh my goodness this is this is so cool this is so cool oh my god i'm sorry if that's all i'm able to say right now but i'm getting overwhelmed by these unique vibes right now so i'm gonna give y'all my interpretation of this i feel like why not but what i'm getting from this is you know, life and death, chaos, destruction, creating life and the birthing of life and how there's a cycle that is just so, it's it's hard to comprehend, you know, because what she's saying, she's always asking why, why God were you not there? You know, why do you do this to us? What, what are we to you? You know, and obviously these are very understandable questions when you lose a child, um, it all just seems so out of your control. And I feel like that's what this is kind of crafting. It's just so overwhelming. It's hard to, like, you know, understand. But life goes on, regardless if we understand it or not. So that's my interpretation. <laughs> Yeah, aren't you guys happy you didn't have to live during this time? <laughs> the earth was just molten lava. Just hot molten lava for a good bit. <laughs> it's crazy that it transformed into what we know now. It's insane. But I think that, again, goes in hand with what I just said earlier. Just how destruction and chaos, it's, you know, it harms us, but 
it aids everything else. That's just how things come to be. We can't possibly understand it. Holy crap, man. <laughs> Thank God I am not just... One of some things that would make me lose my mind to this. Man, this is insane. Wow, they are for real about this. They are not playing games. They are like, let's let's go back in time, y'all. <laughs> wow. I feel like this film is giving me existential anxiety. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing because, you know, I I'm in a place where I can appreciate what's happening, but I'm sure as heck can can tell like this would probably freak a lot of y'all out <laughs> this is this is this is this is a lot <laughs> if you didn't feel small well there you go <laughs> my child i'm not gonna lie this does give me 2001 space odyssey vibes too Definitely. Just, you know, giving us an entire timeline. They put the entire set underwater. That is so awesome. What? And that's cool because, like, you know, it's probably the kid ready to be, be you know, ready to be born into the world. That's such a cool way to show that what that's awesome man that is this is so good this is really good i'm loving that they're just allowing us to experience this you know I'd also like to say, for the cinematography, there seems to be a lot of photography background with this as well, too. Just with how things are framed, how a lot of these sh shots feel like they could just stand on their own. You know, every frame you can truly interpret, you can just appreciate. And again, it seems like there's just a lot of natural light, which I adore. I love natural light. I feel like it can... Give off a feeling that, you know, studio lighting just, just can't do. Everything has usage, obviously, but I feel like with this story, unless otherwise, it's so beautiful in natural light. I'm still tripping about... <laughs> what we experienced before this kid was born. That was insane. I don't think I've ever seen that except for 2001 Space Odyssey. I don't think y'all realize how healthy this is. <laughs> like, dang. I gotta, I gotta thank my younger self for being able to be outside and actually do these type of things. What the heck? I was not expecting that. I was not I was not expecting her to just be out here levitating. That was crazy. That looked a little too real. What on earth? Another film that this reminds me of and how it's shot is um oh my god, let me see if I can remember it. Maybe you guys can, you know remember the title for me but it takes place with following these children in florida and it's more of like a documentary hence why the filmmaking you know is parallel to this because this shares similar styles also is that kid right there who i think it is i don't know his name as an actor but is that him when he was like a, well, just a kid. I'm trying to figure out who that actor is. 
He's grown now, but interesting. Fourth person of the Holy Trinity. They never talk about their money. I love the use of the wide angles, too. You know, you can use wide angles for a lot of things, but I love how they're using it here just because of the subject matter. You know, that being of, like, you know, closeness. Again, it almost seems that bridge from audience to storytelling is enhanced with the filmmaking, or I should say the cinematography. You know, this, this film does a great job at first magnifying what we are seeing, what we are feeling, and now it's just microscopic. You know, these are microscopic, you know, moments that are packed with everything that we felt in the beginning where everything was magnified. Man, this film is making me realize you, as a human, you experience a lot. Like, even at a fraction, at a microscopic fraction, just those compounding into an adult. And, you know, by the hopes of a lot of y'all, I hope you make it past adulthood and into, you know, your gray years. But, man, it's crazy. It's just hard to fathom. Again, just like the beginning of this film. And then I think the key thing is just time continues. Why should I be good? If you are. Wow, that's crazy. That is insane. I mean, I want to also emphasize it is not uncommon for children who are just in that environment, especially with Christianity, to think those thoughts. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's just them trying to figure out the world around them. They're doing the same thing that adults are doing. <laughs> you have control of your own destiny. Hmm. It is really fascinating seeing the father, you know, brilliantly played by Brad Pitt, by the way, is he's trying to control these outside forces and it's leaking into his family i mean seeing how that's happening and seeing how you know what happens afterwards you know because we had a glimpse of that at the beginning is it leaves a lot of the middle part that is you know the grayness of it all up for interpretation and it makes these scenes just that much more enjoyable to watch. Be quiet. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> he said, be quiet. Yeah, low key. He's a hypocrite. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make it any easier that the mother is like hella passive. That does not make it any easier. Wow. That is such a cool perspective shot right there. That is really cool. Again, those uses of wide angles, they're really going hard in the paint and just using them correctly, too. Let's go set her off for a skyrocket. Back, back. Damn! Oh my God, these guys are Sid from. <laughs> is that his name from Toys R uh, Toys R Us? Wow, Toy Story. This is some. <laughs> That's some crazy ish right there. What do you know? You let run all over you. Wow! Oh man! Man, oh, that came and bit her in the butt. That's crazy. Damn. But you do. Don't interrupt. It's your house. You can kick me out whenever you want to. Oh, man, that's crazy. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane to hear that. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is this is this is this is bad. It's 
it's crazy how personal these thoughts are. I gotta commend the film for doing that. The fact that they are allowing us to hear the deepest thoughts within these 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 kids. Well, maybe I've been tough on you. I'm not proud of that. I'm just now noticing this, you know, because we had glimpses of the future. It's so interesting that he took up something related to his father's occupation. That's really interesting. That's something I just realized. The only way to be happy is to love. Unless you love, your life will flash by. That's powerful. They said, unless you love, your life will pass by. That's crazy. Wow. Wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. I just got chills right there. Oh, man. Wow. This is this is so cool. This is like abstract National Geographic. <laughs> Like, what I'm seeing from this, or at least what I'm getting from this, is that at least at the end of it all, you know, there is that reuniting that is possible. You know, we can all find solace in that. I think that's the right word for it. I'm very happy they didn't end it on that frame. I was like... I know y'all got a better frame to end it on, for crying out loud, after all this freaking fire cinematography. This was cool. This was an experience. I don't think I've seen anything like this. Oh, snap. This is a Terrence Malick one? I did not know that. Oh, that explains it then. Freaking, what is it? The thin red line? That's crazy. All right, guys. That is the end to the Tree of Life. All right, everybody, we just got done the Tree of Life. This one is so good, so good. I'm surprised I didn't mention the Thin Red Line because it is shot similarly to this with the floaty cam and the abstract cinematography. That's crazy. That makes so much sense now. I was like, dang, whoever's the cinematographer or even the direction of this film, they, they are snapping right now. When I saw that it was written and directed by Terrence Malick, I was like, okay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Wow. Okay, there's a lot to unpack, to uh, digest, but I think the overall scheme of it is obviously, you know, the, the question is why? Why all of this? Why any of this, right? Why go through life? Why go through pain? Why go through, you know, these, these moments in our life when there's just so much on a grander scale? And I love how this film found its own answer and i hope that you guys were able to find your own answer as well too but what i got from this is that you know there's so much happening we have no idea what's going on but you know the fact of the matter is that you're here and that you've experienced uh, this this random weird abstract thing called life right and when that life ends you know there are potentials of you know further abstractions and i love that line with um you know what she said when they were leaving the house saying that you know if you've loved uh you know then time doesn't pass you by you know and I, I it's very true right it's very true there's only so much that you can find within the meaning of your own life but i think love is a, a powerful thing that kind of transcends that and you know i really do feel and i i I really do feel that the ending to this, you know, with everybody kind of joining together in these really, really dope locations that almost give off this infinite space, right? Like almost a void. But there was so much love there, right? There's so much love and there's so much joy there. And I love that that's a cool um, opposition of one another, an avoided space, an avoided area. There's so much love, there's so much joy. You know, whether you are, you know, alive or not. And 
you know, whether you believe in you know, God or you have, you know, other religions as well, too. I just, you know, from what I've gathered from this film, I just hope that there is at least a sense of of love, you know, for when we are here and for when we pass on. Because <laughs> we all gonna be there. I don't I don't know where we going, but we all gonna be there, you know, so it's it's scary at first. Um and you know, the visuals in the beginning almost did a really unique thing where there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of destruction. Uh, however, it gave us all of this, right? And so, kind of carrying it on, and, you know, at first I said I was having, like, existential anxiety watching this. Um, it's really cool because that was low-key something that, like, was an actual thing for me. Like, um, I, I would like to consider myself pretty aware. You know, when I was younger, there was a lot of questions that just had no answers for. You know, I couldn't go to anybody or could seek out these answers. And so... There was a lot of existential fear in that, but um, you know, through me traveling, through me exploring life, through me, you know, um, creating friends and enjoying family, loving this life, it really, it, 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 it kind of like eliminated that, you know, like yeah, there is always going to be that existential feeling towards it, but you know, as cheesy as it is, it's now like existential love, right? Uh, and that kind of eliminates the fear of not knowing what is going to happen or just things that are just going to blindside us. And I'm not saying that it won't happen. And I hope it doesn't happen to y'all. But life is life. And I hope that, you know, through the transitioning of time, love stays there. Um, and love is able to help revive throughout that time. So the tree of life, that was a great film. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. You know, I can definitely see how this film could be very divisive just with how it's shot, how it's portrayed, the ide idealisms that it, it tries to tackle, and, you know, just the overall different style of filmmaking and storytelling. But I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts below in the comments. So like always, guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me as long as you guys have, have been, and I hope that we can kind of continue this. And I'm just excited for the future. So with that being said, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we... We're just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches, cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.